Ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting for this episode ever since we saw the preview to it in the last Attack on Titan episode reaction that we did, bro. Holy shit, dude. Attack on Titan Sunday, your boy is in here today. So where do I even start? The last episode, not even just the last episode, just the entirety of season four part two so far has been just, just a nothing but fire, dude. Nothing but just like brain busting mayhem from start to finish. For one thing, in the last episode, Aaron got his fucking head blown off, literally decapitated off of his body by none other than Gabby, dude. So Aaron got sent to the past, you know, Zeke was in there, Aaron revealed like, hey Zeke, you know, it turns out like, I don't really want to do the Eldian fucking uh, euthanization plan, that shit sucks. And Zeke's like, well, that's too bad, man. Here we go, I'm gonna headbutt you right now and we're gonna go into the fucking past, I guess, and relive some memories. So today's episode is called uh, Memories of the Future, I think. And uh, which is kind of counterintuitive, but we saw in the preview that we're kind of going back in the past, like I said, in the memories and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what the future thing has to do with anything. Um, I'm really curious to see though, because you know, memories of the future, that doesn't really make any sense. But it seems like this episode is gonna be kind of like Aaron and Zeke, just like, you know, like seeing, I guess, like their past selves. Like we saw like Aaron and Zeke were watching like Aaron and Armin interact with each other, probably before, you know, like the Colossal tie and attack the walls for the first time and stuff like that. So this, this is giving me like very much like, um, you know, back in like season three, when, you know, uh, we went into like Grisha's past and stuff like that, or even like something like Zeke's past in season four, part one. This is giving me like vibes like that type of episode. So I'm really, really excited for it. I'll see everybody. I'm just super excited to watch right now too. I'm pretty sure Teddy here is super excited to watch as well, man. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. We're on a win at 200,000 subscribers together, but nonetheless, everybody, Let's get it. Oh, not again with the bird, bruh. Bird equals bad. That's what I've, wh that's what I've figured, uh, you know, watching Attack on Titan. Also, I want to see everyone's reaction to Aaron getting his head blown off, dude. Especially, like, Mikasa. Like, she about to go fucking crazy. Oh, is that, is that Grisha and baby Aaron? Hold on, that's kind of cute. So, I guess Zeke's plan right now is kind of to sway Aaron into still going forward with the, like I said, the plan for the euthanization. Question is, is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to work. Because, uh, we know that that man Aaron is stubborn as hell. Damn, this is wholesome as hell though, right? This scene at least, but you know, then we have Aaron and Zeke kind of back there, you know, mean mugging the memories. Also, I just have to say this, that uh, Aaron's design right now, like it looks sick. This actually might be like my favorite interpretation of Aaron. Damn, we are like really reliving all of Grisha's memories right now. Are we about to go into like the crystal dungeon type deal again? Wait, so Grisha found out years before see even zeke is surprised right there damn that man zeke is getting kind of triggered right now because you know zeke never got that type of love from grisha wait what the fuck wait he can see us wait is he is he just tripping oh no never mind he actually can see us what the fuck yeah even zeke and aaron seem to be like uh what the hell like you know yo that's actually kind of crazy now because that you know, that involves a new factor that, if, you know, if our past selves can see us or, you know, I, I'm pretty sure there's still memories, but actually, I don't know. You know, the Titan powers, the founding Titan power, the coordinate, all that stuff, you know, that shit, that's just a whole bundle of like, you know, like mind fuckery. So like, I don't even know, man, but basically I like, I don't know if like, you know, uh, the Aaron now is going to talk to, you know, maybe past Aaron. Uh, that would be a really dope interaction, you know, or, you know, Zeke and stuff like that. That's really cool. Cause like I said, right here, Grisha uh he doesn't seem to be very alarmed though he's like okay why is this random bearded man in my room you know i like, <laughs> he seemed to took it he seemed to take it like really well you know here we go though episode 79 episode i keep forgetting dude is it 19 memories of the future i think it's episode 20. uh the rumbling zeke we plan to kill everybody who i've always been yep oh here we go yeah i did that zeke aaron was really catching bodies out here like you know when that man was a kid and that's a really ruthless mentality he said yo if i want to be free shit if someone wants to steal my freedom i'm taking theirs first this is dope though to see mappa's interpretation of everything right now that we saw before in like the season one season two stuff like that bro the music right now jesus Wait, so, I mean, I, get, I like I said, I don't, I don't really know the specifics why some people can't see Aaron and Zeke, but Grisha was able to. Maybe because it's Grisha's memories, uh, Grisha's able to interact with them. Oh, okay, so this is when Grisha wrote the the letter to, you know, Aaron and whatnot when they when they found it in the basement. Oh, this is actually season one, episode one, right here, because they they were getting the sticks. I remember that. So this is when Grisha leaves and he he goes to the Frida in the little crystal dungeon and kills them all bro this is so dope man like it's it's so surreal like we we're seeing these again but we're seeing them with like aaron and zeke right here you know 
That's cool. And then Gersh is like, cool. All right, take the key. And then, uh, yeah, you got to wait three seasons to see what's in the fucking basement, man. Dude, dude, I know I'm not tripping. This is actually just like, they literally just took the episode one shot of this. That's wit style right there with the 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 harsh ass, uh, or not really harsh, uh, the thick black outlines. I kind of missed that low key. But hey, man, yo, okay, 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 I see you. Hold on. I'm getting nostalgic. Dude, this man Grish is looking like he's seen some shit. I mean, he, he kind of has, but like, goddamn, that man looking cracked out of his mind right now. Oh no, here it is, bruh. Damn, dude. Okay, okay, okay. So, what we know from this scene is that, okay, so, I remember that was when, um, oh my god, I'm sorry, my fucking head. There's just, there's a lot of shit happening right now. I'm trying to recollect my thoughts. Aaron, when he kissed his story, his hand, he saw, uh, in the memories that, um, Grisha was trying to negotiate right now, like I said, with, uh, with Frida right now. And, uh, Frida, since she has, like, the, uh, the founding titan power, uh, you know, her eyes turn like all purple and shit like that. And she's like, nah, fuck you. And then they fight. And then Grisha's going to eat her, kill all, kill all the family and whatnot. And then uh, after that, uh, Grisha gets eaten by Aaron. Uh, so I wonder how, you know, I guess their commentary is going to, you know, go on through with that. This episode low key. It, oh my God, it's, it's so strange, man. Like, I, I feel like that's what this episode is kind of supposed to be. Like, we're kind of just recollecting the memories that we've all, you know, watched, you know, together, you know, whatnot, you know, um, but like, it's, it's kind of like we're in the POV of Aaron and Zeke, you know, like, it's like, they're all watching it, but like, we're watching it as well. I don't know. This, this episode is kind of crazy. I don't, like I said, it makes me feel really nostalgic, really surreal as well. Um, I'm like, I'm loving it so far, but how does this play out? Like the full thing? Cause we never saw it. And then she's going to go sicko mode with the eyes. Here it is. There it is. Sicko mode has been activated. There's no use talking to her now. There's no use. I was about to say, like, yeah, like, Zeke and, uh, you know, Zeke and Frida are kind of on the same wavelength. Oh, my God. Jesus, that man Aaron is pissed. That man is furious. Low-key, Grisha is spinning facts right now. Nah, Grisha is not hearing any of this shit right now. Grisha's like, fuck that. It's time. Hey, yo, this man Aaron. Even if you saw the founding time for me, you can't use it. Because, yeah, you're not royal blood. Oh, he said it. Oh, no, that man Grish is talking his shit right now, though. Okay. Even Zeke's like, God damn, dad. Okay. Aaron, what are you about to do, bro? I don't know if you can interfere with stuff like this. Can you? They target can glimpse into memories of its future inheritors. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we knew that. To an extent, it's able to know the future. I mean, kind of, I guess. Know the future. What does he mean, Aaron? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Know the future. What does he mean, Aaron? I mean, we kind of knew that a little bit well i guess like it was kind of vaguely hinted that the attack titan can see the future because um the owl um he i remember this so fondly too because it's always been stuck in my mind when he was talking to grisha and i was like yo you know we gotta say mikasa and armin i'm like and i'm you know i'm pretty sure everyone's like wait what the fuck how do you know who they are you know they don't even exist yet like, that's, like, years down the line. But I'm sure that Aaron knows, like, like obviously, he knows all the history of the Attack Titan right now. But I guess Zeke didn't know about that. Actually, hold on. Let me rewind that. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. The Attack Titan can glimpse into the memories of its future inheritors. Yes. I think that's been established already. In other words, it's able to know the future. Uh, Aaron? Hello? Oh, no one knows about it? You can't fully use the Founding Titan's power either. Yo! This is where I eat the Founder and end the Royal Bloodline? I mean, okay, we know, we knew that already. Stab, stabs the hand with the knife, yes. Damn, man, Grisha's really bad at right now. Hey, yo! Whoa, whoa! This is different! Wait, 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 okay. This is different though. This is different unless he picks it back up again and stabs his and, and stabs himself. That was supposed to happen. Okay, so I don't know if we're altering history right now. Are we are we doing some fuck shit right now? Hold on, I got to see this. I'm a doctor who saves lives. For it, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like Grisha was supposed to kill everybody right there. He stabs his hand with the knife with the knife and everything. The past can't just change. Yo, everyone's like telling Frito like, "Yo, Frito kill this man." Feel free to chill out. Aaron? Oh, fuck. He can see? He can hear? Did you forget what you came here to do? You avenge your little sister eaten by dogs. Yep. True? Or your comrades, Dina Kruger. This man, Aaron! Wait, he's interfering right now. Even if you die and even after death, 
What the fuck is going on? This man, Aaron, actually persuaded Grisha to do that. He's he spin facts though. Oh no, this man actually did it. Okay, that's actually what happened. I'm a little confused though. So did Grit? Okay, okay, hold on. Just I. Okay, I'll speak my I'll speak my mind after I watch this and this thing entirely because it's it's so hard to give a, a summary right now of what I'm seeing just by these little shots. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah. So Grisha kills everybody, takes the Founding's power. God damn, dude. The animation going up, dude, for this mental breakdown. Aaron, I killed. It. Whoa! I just fucking figured it out. Wait, 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 wait. Aaron, Aaron, I killed the rice all but their father. Okay, so Grisha. Okay, so the attack tie-in can see the memories of its inheritors and stuff like that. So. I assume Grisha already knew that Aaron was going to be the next inheritor of the Attack Titan. So, I don't know if... Because, like, Aaron talking to him right there, I don't know if that was, like, a direct link to what was happening. Like, I don't know if Aaron and Zeke being in that exact moment is actually what, what changed and, was, and what made Grisha do that, right? Or, or that was just kind of like a... You know, just like imagery, like Aaron is there to tell him, but like in reality, what happened was, you know, pr probably was just a voice in his head, right? It's probably just a voice in his head talking to him saying like, yo, you got to do that shit. And it was Aaron, right? Dude, this ep- Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I, I, I know I said in the last episode that the theorists are about to be on their fucking A game for that. Fuck that. This episode, I'm talking 100 page essay AOT theory, bro. 10 hour long video just for this episode. What the fuck? So Aaron persuaded Grisha to do that. So yeah, okay, so Grisha already knew everything that was gonna happen. This is so confusing, cause like, he can, he so he can Z Zeke right now. This episode is crazy. That's a big ass plot twist too. So Aaron was the one that urged Grisha to kill the, the royal family and stuff like that. And, and take the founder's titan for himself. This fucking music too, man. What the hell is going on right now? Damn, dude, that's all Zeke ever wanted. He just, he just wanted that fatherly love. You see that man Aaron just standing menacingly right here. What the fuck? Yo, that man T-posing on his ass. What the hell? Dude. How does he have... Bro, bro, stop. Stop attack on Titan with the cliffhangers, man. Stop with the... What the fuck, man? That was a crazy ass plot twist though, now that I really think about it. Zeke is scared. Even like Grisha's like, yo, Aaron, yeah, stop, please, bruh. So what I'm getting at is basically Aaron using you, the Attack of Titans powers, you know, them able to use the, you know, able to know the inheritance and shit like that. Aaron somehow was able to persuade Grisha in that moment, because before we, we thought Grisha did that on his own accord, but now he's like, nah, dude, I can't kill children, I can't kill all these people and, and take the, the power dude like I, I i'm not in it you know it's just not in me and aaron was literally just like yo you know like you started this shit bro like you ain't gonna back out now right dad stand the fuck up and do it and grish was like all right fuck it i'm doing it now F okay hold on let me see this preview i'll continue talking for those who oppose fought and moved forward okay oh aaron's breaking out from you two thousand years ago stop 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 everything stop Stop. Look, look, look. I know. I know damn well, bro. I always talk about this shit, bro. Bro. Bro, tell me why that correlates with the name of the first episode of the series. Look right here. Look right here. No bullshit, too. You guys know I've talked about this before and you know my trailers and stuff like that and other episodes as well. Look, episode 1 to you. 2,000 years in the future. And then we go back, and the next episode is called From You. Wait, well, let me just make sure. It's From You 2,000 Years Ago? Oh, no, yeah, it's called From You 2,000 Years Ago. What the fuck is gonna happen, guys? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is this. <sighs> Every time I think I'm getting closer to the truth of the story. Every time I'm like, yo, I'm on top of things right now. I'm like, yo, I know it's gonna happen next. Fuck that, bro. Fuck that. I finally get to know what the hell this 2,000 year shit is, man.
I've been talking about this like, yo, I just want to know, like, wh wh why is the first episode called 2,000 years, bro? So we know now that Aaron Loki is responsible for a lot of the shit that's happened, man. You know, the death of the royal family, the capturing of the founding titan, the manipulation of Grisha. That man, Aaron, from the goddamn future, manipulated his father to give his younger self the attack titan and the founding titan. So later on, he would realize that and go uh, dude I'm so, <laughs> it's so hard to explain this bro after i was just seeing this it's so hard but i understand i get it holy shit dude isayama what kind of drugs were you smoking on dude when you wrote this what the fuck this shit is nuts man this, this shit's nuts but ladies and gentlemen you already know what to do attack on titan theorists essay writers man you know what to do go and leave in the comments down below let me know well, you guys started this episode or, you know, if you want to summarize exactly what the hell just happened, go ahead too, bro. I'm pretty sure a lot of people uh, like myself. There's still a lot of things that like I'm a little, I mean, I feel like for the most part I got it. But, you know, a lot of people, you know, they're going to be like, what the fuck just happened? You know, future Aaron talking to past Grisha, giving past Aaron this so that future Aaron can do this. You know, just a lot of stuff, man. And it seemed like at the end there, uh, Aaron was able to break out of like Zeke's trance or like the, the headbutt thing. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, that man Aaron, he seems like he's on demon time right now. Like, even Zeke and Grisha are kind of like, oh, shit, you know, we got to stop Aaron. Next episode from you 2000 years ago. Uh, I'm really excited for that one, man. Really excited. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it for the Attack on Titan episode. Uh, as you can see, I had a lot of fun watching this with you guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. It really helps support a lot. We're on way in that 200,000 subscribers together. Uh, but nonetheless, it's me, Dubai, guys, and uh, I'm out. Peace.